brand new in version 10.2.2 of Logic Pro X, certain supported USB devices can now automatically be configured to act as control surfaces. I like to think of them more as sort of mini control surfaces. And I say that because what it means is their controls are automatically mapped to Logic's smart controls. So the first time you connect one of the supported hardware devices via USB, Logic's going to show you a dialog asking you if you want to use it as a control surface or if you want to continue using it just as a regular MIDI controller. Now I'm plugging mine in here and I have a Roland A800 Pro keyboard controller. So I'm prompted with this message. Now if I click auto assign, it enables control surface support for the device. And if I click no, it's going to allow it to resume its normal activities as a MIDI controller. I'm going to click auto assign. And of course, we can still play notes on it. But the knobs and sliders get mapped automatically to smart controls. Now we can always change the settings for any of these devices in Logic's preferences. And to do that, we go to the control surface tab over here. And there's now a new third section here called MIDI controllers. And we see here the controller that I just connected. Now each detected device is gonna be shown here listed by manufacturer and by model name, and we can enable the user checkbox here if we wanna act as a control service, and we can always deactivate it here, and it'll revert to be used as a regular MIDI controller. I can turn it on, of course. Now, if we see it here and the name is dimmed or grayed out, it means that it's been previously detected but isn't currently connected or powered up. So for example, I'm gonna pull this out and now we see it grayed out and I'm gonna plug it back in and it'll automatically become active again. And we can reset the warning here in general. If I go to notifications and press reset warnings, it'll then prompt me again when I plug it in anew whether I wanna use it as a control surface. Now, before we take a look at it in action, here are a couple of little footnotes to be aware of. These supported devices have to be connected to the computer via USB. So if you use a MIDI interface to connect it, it won't be detected properly. And also devices that are configured like this to be used as control surfaces, they won't show up in the control surface setup window, but their settings do show up in the controller assignments window. So when I go under control surfaces and preferences, we'll see here that in the setup window, this is another device I have connected, but we're not seeing this Roland keyboard. And on controller assignments, we do see the assignments here and they're automatically mapped to the smart controls and they update based on whatever instrument is selected. So let's take a look at this in action. Here's a little arrangement with no automation, and I'm gonna play it for you as is, and we can control playback with the transport buttons here on this Roland A800 Pro keyboard that's being used in this automatic control surface mode. I can forward, rewind, go back to the beginning, hit record, etc. Now with this instrument selected and the smart controls open, these knobs are automatically mapped to the selected instrument's smart controls. I'm in touch mode, so let's record some movement. And now if I hit A, we'll see the automation. And let's look at the sub automation lanes and see all the smart controls individually. And now to select the next instrument, the knobs are automatically gonna be mapped to those smart controls. And again, we can see the smart control automation here. At the time of this video, these are the supported controllers so far. Now, if you connect one of these devices using USB and Logic doesn't detect it, just make sure with the manufacturer that you have the latest firmware installed. And of course, this list could change over time, but this is what it is for now. So I think this is a fantastic new feature. This is Eli Kransberg signing out. Enjoy and get the most out of your controllers.